Oh, I didn't really go to school. So, um, so, so chaos is community held open source analytics. Um, um, community held open source analytics software. So, sorry. Please, I'm so sorry about that. I just had someone. Yeah. So, um, what we focus on, right, in chaos, right, just like you have like health in chaos, not like like health, health, you know, biological, you know, health or something. But it's more about community, right? You know, we focus more on sustainability of open source communities, right? The health of open source communities, right? And then you th start talking about stuff like um uh, DI badging, that diversity, equity, and inclusion. badging so we have um event badging initiative in chaos we have a project badging right so um to ensure that um these maybe open source projects are sustainable right um we after going through maybe meeting when this project meets a certain metric or criteria So when this project meets a certain criteria, they are being awarded, you know, a badge. And of course, that badge can be used for a whole lot, right? And um we also have um we have a goal, one of the projects I'll be talking about, an interesting project. It's also an in initiative of um this thing. Um uh, let me see if I can pull up the design notes for that. Also an initiative of uh, uh, chaos, right? to also manage um, communities, right? Um, to where project maintainers, right? And, and administrators, right? Can, you know, keep track of, you know, contribution, you know, on GitHub and all that statistics with data visualization and all that real time. You know, sometimes as a maintainer, um, it's always somewhat difficult to track um, like new contributions, right, from contributors, right? It's always difficult to track, maybe keep track of this, especially when, you know, um, you're working on um, maybe a massive project or stuff, you know, just like a project like, you know, Chaos, where you have different working group, right? We have the scientific research working group. We have, um, um, we have accessibility, um we have design working group we have like a lot of working group there in chaos i can't even start mentioning them so by working group i mean just kind of like sub teams just like you have design so you also have other sub like teams you know in chaos so like i said again you know the the, the focus what chaos focuses on right it's just about um community health open source community health so um, sustainability of open source, you know, or communities and projects. Just put it this way that, for example, um, here is a design working group, right? And then um, maybe an open source project be out there, right? Might as well be struggling, right? In building maybe a stable or a sustainable, like, design community, right? So um, um, then... Maybe what we are doing here right now, maybe after maybe a certain period of time and we are able to build something functional and sustainable, we can decide to kind of like, you know, you know, put up certain metrics, right, based on the results we've gotten, right, and share these metrics, right, with so um, maybe open source project B out there and basically kind of like take advantage of, you know, our learnings and all that and develop their community. So eventually, um, there are different approach we actually use to achieve this, right? So that's just an aspect of it. So everything we're doing around chaos is targeted towards um, so sustainability, inclusion, and um, of course, diversity, right? So it's, a very, it's actually a very inclusive community and everyone is welcome. So I, I don't know if that was complex, but um, just I bet you, even if you don't get everything to do, just, you know, uh, keep calm, right? With time, you know, everything is just going to settle in. And uh, But if you ask, if you have any question, you can also ask. Um, maybe I can attend to that before we move on to something else.
Any question, blessing? Oh, you're good. Uh, no question for now, no question. Okay, so thank you. Um, so we have um in case we we also have like different projects, right? Going on, and most of these projects are just going on simultaneously, right? Personally, I am the design maintainer, right? So I sort of like, you know, manage the team, right? And um, it's not like a design leads kind of thing, right? But it's just helping organize things. Ah, oh, guys, I'm in Nigeria, so it's just for like... <laughs> so, um, so like, so where I can like, you know, just manage manage the team, right? Organize, you know, meetings and stuff like this. So, um. Everything is just pretty much open to con contribution and just supporting and making sure that the project is better. So we have um a couple of projects. We have Ogo project. I think I'm gonna share that. I was hoping Lami would join the call because she's really been the one spearheading that project. Um so I'm gonna share my screen. In a moment, I, I don't know if I share the design notes. Um, okay, so I shared, I think I dropped the design notes on the chat. All right, so um, can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, so um, I just mentioned that um, Ogo is um, a project one of the projects by you know um uh, chaos it's had an interesting project i really wish like i was able to jump on this immediately but um so like i said it's really more around um um when you go through the design notes you really get inside that was how i shared that document right so um eve for project right and this particular pro this is another thing you need to understand um most products we are developing in chaos is not just for like internal purposes only right these are products right that you know open source communities even projects out there that are not open source I, I i i believe can also leverage on and use this product right um, because at the end of the day, it's to drive inclusion and su su sustainability of your your project. So, uh, when you go through the design note, um, personally, it's going to play around a lot around like um, visualizing data visualization and all that as a project maintainer. You know, managing projects. You know, getting data, real time data from GitHub and all that. You know, so you can sort of like track you know, contribution and all that. So it's actually an interesting project. It's ongoing. And um, I recall Lamy asking for help, um, needs a few other hands. So that's also open for contribution. And um, I'm just going to run through some of the things we have. Then um, maybe I'll now talk about, um, I'll now talk about, then maybe I just try to open for those of us that are interested in contributing. Um, we also have um, um, what's this thing called? Yeah, just trying to load the page now. Our first project. Um, so our first project. Um, so last year, uh, there was this program. There's actually a GitHub tool called uh, GitHub Copilot. I don't know how many of us are aware or know about the tool. It's kind of like an AI uh tool for developers um chat for the past sort of so um um there there was this um uh i think um yeah was it and the uh, i've forgotten what the whole thing was about actually but um that was actually the program that birthed um the AFOS project. So AFOS is actually African open source, right? So the idea behind the project, right, it's actually um spotlighting open source projects in Africa. And um, I think in the recent publication during GitHub Universe, for those, those of us that also follow the program, um, uh, there was this publication too about, you know, a lot of like 
how Nigeria was actually leading, right? In in Africa, uh, their open source contribution, a lot of Nigerians were making open source contributions and all that. And um, you could also see repository that had like, there's a couple of Nigerian uh, open source projects, but most times as Nigerians, we we are not like really aware. We don't know about this project, but there are guys out there building like amazing open source stuff project out there. And um, so the idea behind this is to be able to you know help tell the story, right? Feature this project, and um, yeah, spotlight this project. Right. So we have um these, of course, has been ongoing for some time. Right. Let me see if I can share this. And we have a couple of guys involved in but though the challenge we are currently facing is the fact that you know it's open source. So it's um it's marathon, not the sprints. But then again, we are currently facing this challenge of you know people taking on project and then you know not sticking around to kind of like complete it and all that. This is the landing page for the project, so you can you know maybe as a user, if you, maybe as a project owner, you want to submit your project, you can click here, get a form where you submit to project. These are project you know, some open source projects in Africa, like Chakra UI, for those of us that know Chakra by Shen, and um, yeah, open source community Africa, you know, some quite interesting projects, you know, and um, there are a few other pages, right? So I know, um, now this project for those of us to the product designers, um, I just hope I'm not saying a lot. So please, I'm just trying to also run like through this for um some of our um new guys to kind of like you know pull along the conversation. So this project, um, like as you can see, right, landing page where projects are displayed, it also means that there has to be a part where projects are being, you know posted maybe by, by the admin or the user has to submit project. So all those aspects has to be factored in into the design. The, the admin part, the dashboard where, you know, uh, maybe the project that has been submitted will have to be reviewed before approved and then it's been displayed on the project page. I don't think everything here is, uh, is okay. I think this project project page that was worked on. So uh, you can request a, a data access, right? Um, so now one of that thing too, for those of us that are just also just joining, we need to understand is that, you know, like it's open source, right? It's not like you have to approach the project, the entirety of the project, you can decide to just focus on an aspect you're good at, right? If you are someone that is big on design system, because that's also one thing we've been encouraging, right? You know, there are several people working on, you know, the design. So we work with components and all that. You have to create components so that anytime you are not around, someone else can easily make adjustments. And, you know, so, um, Footer, everything here, you know, has its own components and all that. It makes things easy. So if you want to develop on a design system, cool, you can probably focus on that and of course other part of the project. And um so um just be patient with me once more. Let me just um I'll talk about this one lastly, and then um I think I will just heal the mic for feedback. So this year we have um okay last year we had the maiden edition of um, Chaos Con Africa, right? And um it was quite an let me see if I can share my screen. I'm sharing the right screen. Yeah. So last year we had um the we hosted the maiden edition of uh, Chaos Con. Africa, right, in Lagos here, yeah. co-located cool, with Oscar, right, and it was actually, like, an interesting event, probably get to meet, like, um, couple of persons, lot of persons and all that, 
and um there are actually like a lot of work around you know visuals branding and you know speakers and all that you know so um this is actually one design tool that's kind of like top priority at least right now for chaos africa now you also need to understand that chaos africa doesn't operate as an independent entity right chaos africa is part of chaos global right so chaos africa is just the africa chapter all right so eventually as you stick around you might also want to join other global meetings and connect with other global contributors to chaos project it's actually a big community so you don't restrict yourself to chaos africa um so now we i think we sort of like did this like branded logo right for for the event and then um we had roll up banners we had um we we had um speakers templates we had um a we did i think this hackathon then i'm trying to see how i can pull some stores and share so, so we there was this hackathon then and you no, know, we had speaker tags, and you know. So why I'm sharing this is because um another one is coming up this year, right? Hopefully, I think um around May or so. I don't know the date yet. I think Ruth hasn't uh fixed that yet. So I I'm not so sure about the date yet. So um. So another one is coming up and I think it's also a great opportunity to also like, you know, bring in your skill, right? Um, it's actually a cool event, right? You know, with fully sponsored too. I think uh, we also have GitLab, right? GitLab as one of our major sponsors, right? So in Chaos Africa. So of course, it's sponsoring this event. So I think um, this is also open to contribution, if you're also big on, you know, visuals, right? I, I think I'm really just really open. You can DM me even after this call so we can start. I think currently what we tried doing was building a, a mood board and stuff. So this is actually a quick rundown. Sorry, I'm pouring out my heart <laughs> to you all. But... This is kind of like a, a quick rundown of um some of the stores we have, right? Ongoing and open for contribution. Uh, um, the team, I think part of the organizing team, they've sent a couple of design requests and stuff. So um, I think I'll just pause here and then um, open it up to us all, right? And... Um, um if you want to make if you want to ask questions about maybe any of the projects i've talked about or, or any particular one you're interested in contributing to and you want to probably know more maybe you can ask questions and uh, hi lami welcome so please um anybody want to ask question or have any suggestions or something you want to say? Uh, okay, so I wanted to ask, um, is there like any, uh, what would I call it now, tax management tool that we use that has like an overview of everything that you just mentioned now from different projects to the conference and everything that has like a board that we could see have visibility of everything then we could know which one we could um, kind of um, say hi, you know, apart from them directly. Okay, so sorry, I, I think my internet is just kind of messed up a bit, but if I go to your, I think I heard something like if there's this tax management tool we use, am I correct? Yes, yes, that gives visibility to um, all the projects you talked about in terms of, okay, what are the tasks to be done? These are the two. This is in progress and everything. Okay, so um, for now, no. Um, prior to this time, right, um, we used, like, we have um, the Chaos Africa repository, right, on GitHub, where we um, 
list out these issues, right? The design issues. Uh, one of the reasons also being that, of course, some open source people, you know, people that are also like familiar with open source, most times also go to GitHub to find issues to contribute to, right? But um, why I I paused on that for a while um, is because uh, most times, you know, we, I think we, we have these, we have people within the community that are interested in working on a particular tax or project. And you know that when a particular issue uh, is being listed on GitHub, right, that's sort of like open to just about anybody. And most of these people are not part of the community. Now, the challenge is not with non-community members contributing. The challenge is that most of them don't don't really understand, like they don't know the requirements of the project. And um, some of these people don't even intend to be active contributors. By active contributors are kind of like joining calls like this, getting briefed on the project, what the project is about, the changes. Almost like the most of them are just sort of like, ah, maybe I just see a particular design or maybe I just want to work on this and move on to something else, right? But some of these projects requires, you know, just being active and being involved. So we had this issue where, you know, most of them just come in and then maybe even to even onboard them on the call was a challenge for me. I had that issue with, you know, several. So I decided to more like share just within the community during Hacktoberfest. Hacktoberfest is an annual event in the open source ecosystem. I think it's usually around, yeah, October. Right, where um open source projects, open source con contributors or and contribution in general is being celebrated. So most times, you know, project issues are just being listed. So anybody can contribute to any open source issue. So during that time, we do sort of like push it out. But for now, um we don't have any past management. So I also kind of feel like because it's open source, right? <laughs> Um, we don't also make people feel like they're being micromanaged or something, but I get the point. If it's something we also have to now introduce to effectively run things, I think it also be super cool. Well, you probably find a way to do it, just make it internal for now. I don't know if that answered your question or I. Oh yeah, sure, sure it did. It did. Thanks. Okay, so. Any other question? Um, okay, so um, I think I'm just gonna throw these right to the old, like old guys that have been around. So, like I said, one particular pain point, right, for in the design working group, and it's also something that is common in open source, right. Because um, most of this project, of course, most of these things are not paid, right? But there are other forms of rewards that also comes eventually, right? But then because you're using your free time, you you know, just using your time to do it. So we are constantly, you know, we constantly have to face this challenge of people not seeing project through, right? someone just comes up and fully excited about working on the project. And then after onboarding the person and the person just goes MI on you. So um, I think I also love to sort of like get our opinion on what we think, like what could be the best approach to um, solving this particular issue, <laughs> right? How can we better handle this, right? And um because the challenge is just like, you know, as a designer, you probably like working on a project or maybe someone, a client contracted you for a project and maybe you're working on this SaaS project and probably the person has started working 30 or 40% into the project. Sometimes you'd even want to start all over, like know that, oh, this is the stuff I did. Like I, I worked on this, right? And I don't want to continue where the other person stopped. So, Usually the way we just, you know, assign the stuff, okay, maybe you could handle maybe landing page or handle this page, handle this page, handle this page, 
But even with the single page packs and all that, most people don't really see it to the end. So what, what are your rec recommendations? Like, I don't know, any suggestions or I'll really, really appreciate it. This is open to you. This is open for contribution. Right? Any ideas, man? I can't be the only one talking. I'm tired. <laughs> Okay, Maya. Um, okay, hi. Yeah. So I would say that it's not like we do not want to contribute yet. Or like you said, there might just be work or science work, something like that you get to do yet. So I feel that maybe if we have like um timeline or deadline, to get, so we get to like have it in our mind, oh, that's the first or so and so day, like all oh, this day, uh, the design should be ready so that way like that i don't know okay i can speak for myself here like if there's a timeline to something here yeah, i get to my mind gets to um see it as like, like oh i need to do this thing like like immediately immediately to get so but if there's no timeline on it just to that whole like okay i can do later and you know how later 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 can be yeah, Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, think, Thank you so much, Maya. Uh, yeah, someone else. Where, okay. I, am, I think that's why the um tax management tool he talked about that comes like you know we get to get reminders and all of that. So. Okay, okay, that's cool. Um, so um, your suggestion is that we should be able to assign um deadlines or like <clears throat> timeline to project right yeah. okay so um okay one of that thing um just to digress a bit one of that thing i know i we tried to do um was try trying to but uh, specifically maya if you can recall most times when you reach out i always refer you to midday right so um we decided to kind of like uh have for example all go project right now so lami is leading all go projects um uh, midday was the one in charge of um uh this thing Afos project and um the badging we also have i think one of our projects uh, because of time i couldn't share the badging project that particular project is live already you know um the di badging project i think um yeah i know i was really involved in that project lamy and felix too but i most part of the project really revolved around me at the time before it was really made open so this this way we're actually hoping for people to you know so um like this different like team leads right to be able to probably more closer to right so that you know everybody sort of like message me on slack so that's how when i started this call i said it's not like a, a design lead role it's more like you just kind of like a custodian of you know kind of like pointing people to things but each and every one of us right can really get to maybe someone a new person joins the channel or you understand that aspect of the project you can still you know get to share lami is working on ogo project right now i believe she has more insight on ogo project than i do right so I can't because I feel like, oh, maybe I'm leading or something. So I'll definitely always pull her in to talk about Ogo projects. She, I think she's having issues joining in and stuff. So um, this is also kind of like open to us, right? You know, that in open source, personally, how I even came to assume the position was kind of like, you know, owning certain responsibility you know, just taking on tags, right? And just seeing them through. Because the issue most times too with um open source projects is that I have, 
Yeah, no one is going to come after you. That's the thing, the old timeline thing. It's not really a culture in open source. It, it defeats the, the purpose somehow because it's supposed to be uh, self-driven and um, you just, okay, I'm doing this stuff. I picked up the stacks. I'm doing this stuff. Then whether the community is ready to develop that product or not, but you jump on it and you just, you know, see it through, right? But people, most people don't really get to see the project through and you don't know whether it's on the aspect of their skill or they are not just available or something. And then um, they don't even communicate and they just go MI on you, right? So um, you made a valid point, right? You know, which of course, certainly, Toria, I don't know if you're taking notes, Toria, Hello. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm here. <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah, please. Yeah, I'm taking notes. So, if um, I'm taking notes in the uh, I don't the, the minutes doc. Yeah, please. You didn't share the minutes doc. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll share it now. Please share it, please share it. Thank you so much. Share it and also try to probably put down the suggestion uh, that my soma made and stuff. So um, just, I don't know if anyone has any other thing to say. I'll probably want to talk more on like the project, maybe questions directed to the project right now. Um. Blessing, are you free at the moment? I know the last time we spoke, you said you were pretty occupied. I, I don't know, are you free? Do you have some time to spare now? No, not at the moment. I'm even cur I'm currently in class. I'm I'm just having a divided attention, but I are you I serious? <laughs> are you serious? Wow. I needed wow. to be here at least for the wow, That's fine. wow. Wow, I really appreciate you making our time to join. It's fine, it's actually yeah. cool. It's fine. Uh, don't as worry, Kes. Okay. okay, 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 it's fine. Um, okay, so Imano, you said Imano, you said you were open to working on um, um, the Ogo project. So, um, I don't know, Lami. Lami, I think she's having network issues. Or something. Um, I I don't know. Were you able to go through the design notes? Yes, I did. Um. So honestly, I I went through it, but yeah. not to detail. Um, okay. I said to you, I just got to Nigeria. I think on on Sunday, so I've been yeah. up and down today. Busy, yeah. Today is the first day that I'm, I'm sort of free. So uh, I just requested for leave at work today. So I will sit down and have a lot of time just to, uh, maybe before Friday. I will just sit down, go through today, later on today and tomorrow. And um, yeah. I will get back to you. Or if it's Lamin that needs to chat to just to give, have like yeah. a brief about um, where we are, where we are going to and um, what else to be done here. Okay, yeah, I, I I will connect you with um oh are you are you on the Slack? Yeah, so I was going to say that when you mentioned Slack um this the other time I was like I'm not on Slack yet though. Oh okay, let me uh let me send you the invites. Can you make my mom's please? Um let me pull the invites. <laughs> Sometimes just thinking just wondering where. Um, okay. Um, sorry, did you add the meeting dog the meeting note? Hello? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I'll send you now. I'm sending you now. Okay. I'll just start it. Okay, I just so sent you. Okay. Um so yeah, Imano, just um so join the Slack and just send a message. So I'll you know link you up with Lamy. I sort of like this dark mode on this project. I don't know. I used to start working on light mode, but I really love this light, this dark mode. Maybe it's just personal opinion, though. All my applications are dark mode. <laughs> okay, so, um, okay, I think that that's just about um what I really wanted us to talk about today. So I don't keep us. It's usually I think a one hour thing, right? Um and just to emphasize again, uh, hi that... Kinsley. Yes, Toria. Oh, okay, okay. So you forgot to talk about um the publicity design poster for the disability outreach project, and you also we don't we also don't have um a design of the moons for coming April. Okay. In case there are people who want to jump on the task. Okay. Uh, please do well to add your name to the meeting minutes. Thank you. Thank you so much, Soria. Thank you for bringing that up. Um, so I think this is also part of what um, uh, you have said. Skip by it. So I I don't know maybe can you sort of like type it on Slack, right? Um, type it on Slack and um, you can just start me to it on Slack. So I'll just re echo it, right? So that way sure. we can get yeah. For both of them, because it's already twenty seventh today. Yeah. So we yeah. like less than five yeah. days. Yeah. So. Besides the internal projects where we do, um, like working on some of these products I pointed out, right? We also, part of what we do, you know, like the Twitter spaces, those designs have been done, you know, new months and all that. We thought that the the social media team, uh, team has been doing a great job on, you know, Twitter and all that and on X. So, so I think, um, yeah. So people also make all those designs, right? To so also educate people on open source, right? What open source is and those Twitter space and everything. So um, if you're also open to and you can do some visual design, it doesn't have to, have to be complex Photoshop manipulations, just simple, you know, visual designs, you know, if you're cool and you can work on that, then I think this is actually for you. You can jump on it. So, but before you leave the call, please, um, because you'll be rounding up, please just add your name to the meeting minutes. I think the link is in the chat. Um, so please add your name and um. So this call is usually bi-weekly and um meaning uh, we'll be having another call after next week not next week so after next week and um please try and um let me see if i can demonstrate that on the call actually to add to to copy of uh, this thing a uh, chaos calendar i think some persons have been having issues with this it is I would say a slot moment please. Yeah, my internet is yeah. Okay, so when you visit Chaos website, all right, Chaos website, so you head over to calendar. I don't oh sorry. I think share my screen. So when you visit Chaos websites, like chaos.community, right? So you head over to calendar, right? So, and um, this is the calendar 
there are actually some updates now in mind. So uh so if you check here today is 27th, I guess. Yeah, today's 27th, Wednesday. So when you open this, you'll find or maybe click on it over. Yeah, maybe click on it. Yeah. You of course you find the meeting. So you can share. I think, yeah. So share to Google Calendar or any other form of uh, this thing. You might want to use Apple Calendar or stuff. So I that will I think automatically sort of like copy to your to any of this client that you choose and then you sort of like save it and um you should be getting that reminder bi-weekly um for the call. So that's how to add um chaos calendar. Of course there are several other like you can see there are several other chaos like meetings where you can join other groups, right? That lots of them. Any other one is a research group, right? You know, chaos is also a lot into does a whole lot around research metrics and all that. If all those conversations also excite you, you can also check and add your meetings to to your calendar and jump on them and also make contributions. So thank you so much. Thank you everyone for joining in. I think um let me right back.